IGCSC Biology, Syllabus Statement 321B, Predicting Probabilities of Outcomes from Monohybrid Crosses. We're developing the crosses from 319, and in this one we're looking at an F1 cross, which is between an F1 offspring cross with an F1 offspring. This was covered in 321A. The parent phenotype is red petal crossed with red petal. And the parent genotype is big R, little r, big R, little r, the heterozygotes. Both parents are heterozygotes. Now we know that the next process is meiosis, the production of the pollen grains and the ovules, and that what has to happen here is that the alleles need to be separated, one into each type of gamete. So half of our pollen grains would be big R and the other half would be little r. So there's a 50% chance of the pollen grain carrying the big R allele and there's a 50% chance that the pollen grain would carry the little r allele. And this is to be combined with ovules where there's a 50% chance or a half chance that they will be carrying the big R allele and there's a 50% chance that they will be carrying the little r allele. So we can combine these in random fertilization. If we draw a table of this, and then into our table we put our gametes so the ovules go here, 50% of the ovules are carrying the big R allele, 50% are carrying the little r allele, 50% of our pollen grains have the big R allele, and 50% have the little r allele. The possible fertilizations are represented by the squares. If this one fertilizes this one, we get the homozygous dominant big R, big R. If this one fertilizes this one, we would get the heterozygote. If this one fertilizes this one, we would get another heterozygote. Notice that we still place the big R first by convention. And finally, if this allele fertilizes this allele, then we would get little r, little r, the homozygous recessive. Looking at the genotypes of the offspring, then we have big R, big R, there's one of those, there's two big R, little r's, and there's one little r, little r. It's important to remember that these are probabilities or chances, not numbers. Let's turn that into a phenotype ratio. Remember that this is actually what we call the F2 generation. So this would be red. These would be red. And these would be white. So one, two, and one. This would mean that there's a, th combine these, there's a three to one ratio of red to white. Now you might like to rewrite that as a 75% chance of it being red and a 75% and a 25% chance of it being white or a 3 in 4 chance or a 1 in 4 chance. Now remember that these are chances and probabilities. It depends which pollen grain fertilizes which ovule.